Southern Command's Assistant Commissioner of Police, Anthony Wagambi Jr., said the fight on Monday morning was an act of domestic terrorism on a vital government institution. Police will work closely with the NAC security to ensure that those who have broken civil aviation laws are dealt with under that act, which carries hefty penalties. He outlined that the cost of damages will be determined so that those involved will be charged according to the amount of damage. Wagambi Jr. said he will not allow any compromise from parties and they cannot allow this sort of uncivilized behavior to carry on as it will happen again in the near future. He called on the Security Industry Commission to seriously look into the operations of these companies saying we cannot have bullying taking place when it comes to change of contracts. ACP Wagambi Jr. said police attended to the fighting shortly after it started at 6.30 a.m. The guards from the security firm that had launched the attack were rounded up by police and taken to airport police base where the management of both security companies as well as NAC management met. Police will now be in charge of supporting NAC security to keep watch at the Jackson's International Airport while the issue of security provider is sorted out by the NAC management. He assured everyone that police will not let this go down easily. Salome Vincent, TV1 News.